splitting a hive. Then we're gonna go in and try and find our queen. She's a cracking queen. Now I have three hives. If one goes wrong, then I still have two. Absolutely nasty. Look at them. <laughs> G'day guys. Welcome to Ian's wonderful world of bees. Some of you may have seen my previous vlog on my bees and well, cut a long story short, I thought I was missing a queen. I purchased a queen. I came back a week later. I've got brood in there. It's very unfortunate. But I do have a spare queen sitting here. So what do I do? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna split a hive. Never done it before. I googled a few things, probably like you are doing now. And um, what we've come up with is, hang on a sec, I'll get my memory board. My memory board is as follows. I hope we can all read this. Splitting a hive. Now remember, I do have a purchase queen to go into a new hive. I require two full frames of brood or equivalent, plus the bees on them. I then require one full frame of honey or equivalent with the bees. So in this case, guarantee you I haven't got a full frame of honey down there. So I'm going to possibly do a combination of three frames of brood with the honey around it. We'll see how it looks when we get down there. Now, then we need to shake another minimum two frames of bees into the new hive. When we place an empty drawn out frame, which I happen to have here, and two empty foundation frames. Now you might be thinking, this is an eight frame hive, but I've only got six frames. You see, my frame feeder, where is it? These guys here, they take up, up a bit too much room. <laughs> So they take up one and a half spots. So I can only fit six frames plus my feeder in there. Now I'm not giving them a heap today, probably 1.5 liters of sugar syrup. This is all on the conditions that I can find the queen that's in there. It's a big ask. So it's reasonably sort of cool today. There's a little bit of sun this afternoon. The bees are out but I'm expecting a lot of bees to be in there. We must find that queen before we can make any split. Cross your fingers, let's get down and get stuck into these bees. The bees are more active than I thought. Geez, they're bringing in a lot of pollen. I am expecting a lot of burr comb in here, so we need to deal with that first. Get the lid up, shake the bees off, dispose of all the burr comb. Then we're gonna go in and try and find our queen. Now I'll just have a look at the queen on there before I do shake. I keep saying this, I need to get a hive mat. <laughs> Get organized then. I think I've definitely got enough bees in here for this hive to be split. Check it out. They're nice and calm. Every comb has bees. So as I'm going through here looking for the queen, I'm just checking out what frames I'm going to move to the new one. Queenie, Queenie, Queenie. Has anyone seen the Queen yet? She is. Right there. See that? She's right there. So, I want to get this girl. I can still find her. Got my queen. Mm -hmm. 
you little ripper. Let's go with the split now. I'll put that back there. She's a cracking queen. So we just put her there in the hive so she has her girlfriends around. I've got to prepare for this split. So I know I had a frame of honey here. Where was it? Oh, it's a frame of breed. Look at that. That is just beautiful. There's nectar in there. That's a real nice bunch. That is going straight in with the bees on it, although there's not that many bees, but we'll keep an eye on that. Now I need another frame of brood and a frame of honey. There's not my honey. I don't want too many eggs. So there's plenty of eggs there. I don't want that. That's not too bad. Okay, what was the other way? So much for me paying attention of what's going on in my hive. Yeah, it's a very good frame too. That's full of brood. Bit of comb to work on. I'm happy to place that one in there. So there's two, but I'm not quite convinced that there was enough brood in there, so I'm going to go with three. And hopefully get one with a bit more honey on it. Oh, that's massive frame of uh, brood. I'm happy. That's going in. So there's three. One really, one and a half solid ones, another one and a half. There's three. There's a heap of honey in that. It's the best I've got. So that's going in. Look, we'll leave a little bit of room now. I need to throw another two frames of bees. Oh, there goes my queen. Sorry, darling. Sorry. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. That's going to explode soon. That's full of larvae and that's full of brood. So they, she's going well. And we'll get another comb. I'm trying to choose the combs that have got brood on them because they'll be the nurse bees that are taking care of the brood at the moment. If there are any worker bees there, they'll exit that new hive and they'll return to this one. Here we go, we'll watch the queen enter the hive. There is she is on top. Where is she going? And down she goes. She's a great queen. She was a superseded queen in this hive last year. Naturally superseded, one. So here's our new queen. If you didn't see my last blog, it cost me 55 Australian dollars yesterday. We are in October, 2023. There she is there. She's in there with another half a dozen bees. And she's very small for a queen, but apparently she'll get bigger. That's her there at the bottom, in the middle. We'll just lay that there. They went, oh, better wrap her up. So they told me, look, just wrap this up. They'll eat through this. We want her to face up. Okay, it's time to feed them. That's the new one. Done. How easy is that? I was so lucky to find that queen. While I'm at it, and these girls have been very cooperative today, I'm going to get into the feral hive. Give that a clean out because that is full of bur comb too. Oh well, sad to reduce that hive down. It was just get, starting to get pumping. But you know, don't put all your eggs in one barrel. Now I have three hives. If one goes wrong, then I still have two. Let's get into Mr. Feral Hives. Get organised for him. Lovely fun. 
look so bad. Oh wake them up, these guys are nasty. Nasty piece of work. I think I've said this before, need a hive mat. Good thing is girls, get down. Oh jeez, was I just done then? Very lightly, I was. I am denied about requeening this hive because she's so feral. Now last year this hive went 65 days, no queen. I re and it was a feral queen, absolutely feral. I requeened it, I purchased a queen, I requeened it. It's been, I don't know, nine months I reckon, eight months. Still feral. The reason why I thought this was queenless is because I left it three and a half weeks and there was no brood, no eggs, no larvae. So I went, oh my God, what's going on? I don't want this hive to be set back at all after last year. And uh, came back in another four days later, I opened her up, still nothing. A week later, I finally tracked down a queen. I pick up a queen, I bring her in yesterday. And what's happened? Brood. I think I was just a bit freaked out about what happened last year. And I didn't want to occur again. I jumped the gun too soon. I should have left it 10 days. Comb drawing out there, honey going in. Looking good. Yep. There's a queen there. And I swear on my life, there were no eggs, no nothing in there. Nasty. Absolutely nasty. Look at them. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I should. I should have re-queened it. What are you doing, Ian? Yes, they're getting shipping. Check it out. Finally, it's the other side door. Oh, still drawing cone. But they're getting there. And the last game, I can see it's fairly drawn out. So it's no big deal on that one. Let's lock these up. <laughs> Get away from these guys. nurse bees on the ground here and have obviously fallen out and I just want to get them back in the hive so it's really cooled off here 6 p.m. at night and I've just come down to check on the girls and I've noticed a bunch of nurse bees on the ground so they're all curled up into a ball nice and cold I'm going to scoop them up and place them into my new hive there it goes this is the new hive that I made with a new queen just only a few hours ago. It's pumping. But look, we'll get these in, in with her. And there's an extra 300 bees for the hive. It's looking good, looking good. You can see on the top board here where they're circling is right where it was sitting down on top of that queen. <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> 